What's up, everyone? So every now and again, I love taking you through and giving you guys the updates here at Ohio Fish Rescue. We're going to start you off right here in this 1,800-gallon tank. You know, I have a lot of fish in here, but sometimes we get some surprise fish that go ahead and just have babies. Well, this one was a shock to me. I did see them kind of giving me breeding behavior, but I didn't think nothing was going to come of it. But if you look down here at these corals, maybe if I can find them, they are so hard to find. There's little half inch fingerlings all over the bottom of this tank. Now I say all over, I mean probably about 20 of them or so. I just seen a few right before I started. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right in there, there's a bunch of babies that are kind of scooting around. They just look like little pieces of dirt floating around, but those are babies. We actually had our Severums, which let me find them. These guys right here, we actually had the uh, the other pair to this die off because he, he was old, so I imagine it was old, old age. But right before he left, he went ahead and got the job done with this one here, and they had little babies. So we have little baby Severums in this 1800 gallon tank. How flippin' cool is that? So I'm curious to see how many of them actually make it to adulthood, but we shall see. But this does seem like, you know, we're having lots of babies here at Ohio Fish Rescue. Let's go find out who's having ba babies next. Okay, so along with that, we have some more babies out here. Of course, we've got the bullfrogs, which have a ton. I'd probably say about 30 to 50 tadpoles in this stream here alone, which is absolutely insane. But well, you guys can see on the back side of this liner is a bunch of water. I had to go along this whole back side because the liner had slouched down all across this wetland here, all across here. I went ahead and folded it back, braced up the back side. Now all of this water should stop up. I imagine that was a uh, you know domino effect from all the water coming out of the monster pond. Now it's all starting to dissipate, but now I have to go back and fix the liner on this side here. I want to get a bunch of rocks and put it up against that side and the back side of the liner and then do nothing but ground plants back here. Rip all these weeds out that are growing up this lattice. It looks absolutely terrible. But if you guys watched my reel, you guys would know that the paddlefish are having breeding behavior. I don't believe that they will actually spawn in here. If they do, I will be surprised. And if they do, the koi are probably going to eat the babies. The koi have spawned yet again this uh, summer. We've got two different batches. There's ones in there that are about an inch long and some that are like a half inch fry. But that is not it. So you guys remember we took all the fancy goldfish out of the tank up front. Well, something happened in the, the house. There was a big giant mirror that was behind the tank. And that one, the, the brackets must have failed or something, but the mirror broke behind the tank. So my dad ended up wanting to set, get rid of that tank. And uh, we had to bring some of the fancy goldfish back out here. We got rid of a bunch or rehomed them. I should stop saying get rid of. I got to get that out of my head because I'm so used to talking that way. But we were home a lot of the larger goldfish that were in that tank and we brought the remaining ones back out to this 500 gallon cube with the shat koi ba ba babies here they all seem to be doing well had more breeding activity out of these rays here i am hoping that this girl is pregnant possibly that one back there still hard to tell but i'm still seeing the male going after her so he's done it before He'll probably do it again. We might have some more stingray babies coming your way. I have been seeing her, her back grow and grow and grow. Her appetite has increased. So that might be signs that she is pregnant again, but it is too early for me to make that distinction. These albino alligator gar are growing tremendously. Absolutely love these guys. All right, looking at this 4,400, I've told you guys before that a lot of these fish in here are getting older. Well, we did lose one of our tin foil barbs. These guys are definitely overgrown and way past where they should be. So I wasn't too shocked by it, but I'm just letting you guys know, filling you along and 
you know, keeping you guys updated with what's been happening around here because I, I don't have time to film everything that comes out. Sometimes I'm working, I'll pull a fish out or something like that. But if it's asked about, I will talk about it. But while I'm doing an update here, you guys best believe it. I'm filling you in on the information. This Barramundi is going through another growth spurt. He is getting massive and he is a fun one to feed. If you kind of get quiet and get next to the glass, you can hear his mouth. He'll go after the food and he'll just be like, you'll hear this little knocking sound. It is really freaking awesome. I, I wish I, I was as cool as Rod and had, you know, a platinum and a gold one. You know, that, that would be kind of awesome. Maybe one day, guys. Maybe one day. But while I'm giving you an update on, on fish, I want to talk about this guy here. This is my male uh, pearl, albino pearl. His claspers are starting to roll a bit more. So it might be a little, little bit sooner, but I might be getting some puffs out of the, these guys. He's not quite re ready yet, but probably within six months to a year, I think he, he will. So we, he will have two girls possibly that he can breed with. Well, I've got that one there. That's the uh, fully mature one. This is the albino uh, BD, but I think I'm gonna try and throw her in there because I don't really want to hybridize it more. I wanna go ahead and throw that in with the B BDs, but if he happens to breed with her while he's, she's still in here, I mean, hey, cool. But yeah, I thought that was great news. I still have not moved the Armadas because I want to get in. Oh, whoa. Did you guys just see that? He just came to the front glass and smashed his mouth on here. That is why I want to get him into a larger tank. That was freaking crazy. I, I heard that. I don't know if you guys heard it. But before I do that move, I want to get in here and fix the 2200 gallon tank. I gotta fix these tiles, pull them rose quartz out, and fix the broken tiles, because somehow something got dropped in there, cracked the tile, and they were able to get the you know broken pieces up, and it happened kind of all over. I thinking that these stingrays are playing with these rose quartz, and the rose quartz are going up, coming back down, and smashing the the the, the tiles, which is really impressive to think about that these stingrays are that strong. But yeah, they are. Look at this girl here. Them tiles are 12 inches, so she's about a 16, 17 inch disc. She is definitely a big girl. A lot of these are all breeder size. There might be one or two that are kind of iffy to me, but I think they are all good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and say they're all good to go. Maybe that one right there. Nope, that's my male. Maybe this one right here. That might be on the iffy side and this girl right here, but they are so close that uh, I need to get another male in that this tank and really pump up the outlet of these pups. So th this guy has just not gotten it right. I'm starting to see him nip on the girls. As I told you guys with this girl here, she's got some nip nips on her right there. That was from the male trying to breed. But I don't think he's still got it right. There's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven females that are untouched. And uh, when I'm trying to use these guys to help fund this project here, that is a big no-no. I'll leave you guys off with the update on the tiger fish. He kind of slowed down in e eating. Recently started going hot and heavy again. Same thing with his red tail tat. So they are due for another large growth spurt. But these guys grow very, very, very slow. So it does take time. And one of my favorite things as of late is to come over here and watch this clown loach horde. They are freaking amazing. Big hot tiger fish is still doing well in here and the other one's out in the 580. Everyone seems to be doing good out here. Got the tigrinus ready to shed so he's on another you know growth path gets real white and then he will shed his slime coat so i hope you guys enjoyed the little update video today oh wait i got one more thing you guys see the big jowl over here well if you guys seen the behind the scenes channel you guys would know 
We got something cool over here. We got another Jow catfish. He's probably about 16 inches long. Look at that bad boy. So you guys know the first one came to us as a gift. And these guys are quite expensive. This one was dropped off from a guy in Washington, D.C. Drove him all the way up here. So how cool is that? So I hope you guys enjoyed the little update video. I'll catch you in the next one. As always, stay fishy, my friends.